Hi guys, welcome back to TR's Tarot Talk 1111. I am here to do the weekly series of advice for the next seven days. I decided to add a financial part to this. Um, just two cards is all. So uh, we're going to look at whatever spirit brings through as a general message. We're going to take a look at finances and career and love and romance. So uh, pile number one is this beautiful crystal cluster. I mean, look at this, guys. This is like a fabulous crystal. I can't even begin to tell you everything that's going on in this crystal, but that would be pile number one. Pile number two is the orange calcite or honey calcite. I'm sorry. Heart with wings. And pile number three is my cupcake quartz. So take a moment and choose your pile for advice for the next seven days. And I want to thank everybody for being here. Thank you so much for all of your uh, likes, shares, and comments. If this resonates with you, please leave a comment and a thumbs up. It really does help the algorithms to put my videos out there. Um, and if you'd like to support the channel in any way, there are various ways you can do that in the description box below by ordering your own personal private reading, donating a deck of cards, which will get you a free 15 minute reading with the deck that you chose. So make sure if you choose something from my wish list that you uh, leave me your address, your email address and the topic and your name, okay? Also, you can support the channel by making donations with my PayPal me link. And you can also watch the ads if that's um, something that you have time for. All right. I am losing my voice, guys, because it's, it's fall here. It's been raining and, you know, it's just that kind of seasonal thing for me. So hopefully I can <clears throat> warble it out. Make your selection and I'm going to go ahead and get started with pile number one. All right, pile number one, if you picked this really fabulous quartz cluster, I don't even know what to call it, but I mean, it's just fabulous. One of my favorite pieces, to be honest. So let's take a look and see what is your advice. We're going to look at general messages. So we have the seven of cups. The High Priestess, and the Moon. Wow. Seems to me like this week you're going to have to lean on your intuition because your 3D world is not going to give you the answers you're looking for. There's confusion. There's maybe some fears, some illusions. <clears throat> There's definite a definite need for clarity this week um with the high priestess right here in the middle i think the only real clarity you're going to get on whatever this is for you is going to be leaning heavily into your intuition you're going to have to um use divination you know the high priestess is she who knows but she knows because she taps in so maybe the other cards that come out will be the divination tools you need to get this where it needs to be. We have rest and rejuvenate. <clears throat> Loyal heart, wow. So for some of you, it could be confusion around romantic interest or a friendship. It's definitely relationship for some of you. Um, it doesn't have to be, a you know, everything's a relationship. Could be work, could be family, could be your children could be romance, could be your neighbor, could be somebody you met online, could be anything. Uh, but there's definitely this confusion, possibly because of no communication. This rest and rejuvenate is a sword card, which is about thoughts, um, clarity, communication, it feels to me like maybe you haven't heard from somebody or there's something up with someone you care about, someone you're, you feel 
loyalty to. And you're just maybe waiting. Because <laughs> this person here looks like they're laying there waiting for some kind of communication. Let's see what else you got. I'm going to save the finances and the romance for the end. So we have hammock, hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally with this rest and rejuvenate. So this is either advice for you. You need to rest and rejuvenate, take a vacation physically or mentally in order to gain this clarity, to tap into your higher knowing and have faith in this situation because with loyal heart, whatever this is about, this is two people. Who are loyal not one so there could be a break here in communication and which leads to some confusion but I think that with some rest and and just take a break right just take a physical or mental break from overthinking over processing this and I think your intuition will guide you we have fan, romance, celebration, party. So for some of you, you could have met somebody new. Maybe you haven't talked to somebody in a while. You're confused. You don't know what's going on. You could be dealing with the Pisces, definitely, or a Cancer. You don't have to be, but that's extra validation if you are, because we got cups. <clears throat> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have High Priestess, which for me is a Cancer and Pisces card. We have the Moon, which is also Cancer Pisces for me as a reader. So, and with Romance and Loyal Heart, I do believe for pile number one, um, you could be struggling in a relationship. Could be a new one with Romance. Could be you met somebody new. Maybe you exchanged numbers <laughs> and you haven't heard back from this person. But I'll be honest, that's not what it feels like. What it really feels like here is that if you give this time, it's going to work itself out because I'm seeing fan with loyal heart. I'm not thinking of this so much as the bottom. I'm thinking like this person is a true fan of yours. Or you're a fan of theirs or you're a fan of each other. But for whatever reason, this, this situation seems to be a little bit in the dark without any communication. There's Somebody has taken a step back is what it feels like. We have Cat, a two-faced friend. Oh, I see. Hmm. So <clears throat> that changes things. Let me get these other cards out. We have the king, man, authority, male sexual energy, things pertaining to the law and justice. Wow. So there could be this feeling complicated. Yeah. I'd say it's complicated. Judgment. Hmm. So this does seem to be about romance for some of you. So this is all about masculine energy. So if you're a masculine watching this, you know, this is about you needing to make a decision. A, an intuitive decision about something that you cannot touch, see, taste, smell. This is purely done in the 5D. Okay. Okay. There's somebody on your heart and mind if you're the masculine. I mean, if you're the feminine too, it doesn't matter. But <clears throat> masculine energy doesn't matter what body you're in. There needs to be a clear decision here about whether or not somebody is loyal to you or disloyal. And there doesn't seem to be any with this complicated card, there's no real way of knowing 
it's a judgment call. It's a pure judgment call. You have to lean into your intuition and you have to do what's right. And you're confused, deeply confused. Spirit's telling you to take a step back. With complicated, that, you know, that tells me, and it's a number two also, that there's a choice and a decision with judgment and the king that needs to be done in a fair way honest, righteous manner. But your biggest advice is to sit on this. This week is not the best time to make this decision. Okay? This is a time to take a break from overthinking this, over-processing this, something else is going to come to light is what it feels like. Right now, there's no proof of anything. There's only a niggle. There's a feeling that something is off, possibly disloyalty. Now, this could be in romance or this could be through a friend. This could be through gossip. You could have a two-faced friend who drops a bomb on you about someone you care about. And because there's no communication between you and that person at this time, now you're all caught up in your feels, confused about whether or not you can trust what you've heard. And I'm going to tell you, if this came from a friend, do not trust this friend. They are a two-faced friend. I would trust the loyal heart. If this came from your intuition about a friend that you're wondering if they're loyal, Spirit saying, right now, this week, this is complicated. This judgment needs to be put on hold. Don't make this decision in the next seven days. Clarity needs to be had to make a righteous, clear judgment. Things are complicated and clouded right now. And you're being told to take a vacation physically or mentally. Rest and rejuvenate. And something I think is going to shift in this dynamic soon. Whereby you will get the clarity that you need. Because right now, there is no, you don't have the facts. You don't have any proof. You don't have anything here to make this judgment in a righteous manner, right? This is like the king, man, authority. Now, this doesn't have to be a masculine body. But this is masculine energy. This is feminine energy. So the masculine energy is the action, the doing. The feminine energy is the, the intuition, the, the knowing. <clears throat> if you know, then you know. And you can make this decision as long as you know that you know. And it's the right decision, right judgment. Because this is things pertaining to the law and justice with judgment. I mean, you don't get two judgment cards, justice and judgment, in one small pile unless there's a real clear need for this to be done right. Like it would be done in a court of law. And for some of you, this might be something playing out in a court of law. You might have to go to court in regards to a disloyal friend. And you could be worried about, maybe really worried about the outcome. And Spirit's just trying to tell you this is complicated. Take a, bre take a break. Get out of your head. Get out of your worry. <clears throat> Things feel like they're going to work out in your favor. But it feels to me like this is a non-action week for you. Unless you know. 
and some of us do. I'm very, very intuitive. Sometimes I don't need that proof. I just know. And if you're that strong of an intuitive, then make a righteous judgment. But know that this is complicated. It looks like this could even be between two people. Uh, there is, a, a, for some of you, the romance. For others of you, I feel like this could be two friends. <clears throat> Excuse me a minute. <clears throat> get a drink of my coffee some of you this could be two friends one is loyal one is not and spirit really just wants you to make the right decision because somebody here has a loyal heart and they're a big fan of yours um and then there's somebody here who is not so take what resonates but i would say so far until i get out the other cards because this could be romantic for some of you We'll take a look at the romance here in a minute. But so far, it feels to me like Spirit's saying clarity needs to be had before a judgment is rendered. But when clarity is had, there will be a need for a, a decision with the number two about a complicated situation where a decision has to be decided whether somebody is loyal or two-faced. And I think you need more clarity and you need a little break from the drama. Spirit's saying, pull back your energy and don't give this a lot of your thought, thoughts and attention. It looks like you've been overworking it. And Spirit's kind of telling you, take a break from it in order to gain this clarity to make the right choice. All right, let's take a look at your finances. We have the, or the Knight of Pentacles, so slow and steady wins the race. Um, your, this is a buildup, right? The Knight of Pentacles is building a foundation. Um, he's very practical. He's very loyal. Loyal. Um, he can be trusted. He goes around and and checks all of the details. Not once, but sometimes twice or three times. He's very dependable. Um, so if this is an endeavor with you with finances, there is a loyal person in this situation. Maybe somebody who who you haven't heard from because there's something going on in the background, but this person is on their way if that's part of your confusion. If this is not about, if the rest of this is not about finances and it doesn't appear to be, <clears throat> then the Knight of Pentacles tells me that you're not going to get a windfall this week. It's going to be, you know, take your time, do your work, put the effort in, Make sure you double check your work and do the best you can. Now, accompanying that is the chariot. Wow, talk about duality. Holy crap, no wonder your life's complicated. So, you know, the chariot is fast moving energy. <laughs> and this is the slowest night in the deck. So, I'm definitely reading for more than one group of people here. So, you're going to have to lean into this. Um, somebody's dealing with the cancer, by the way. <clears throat> or a Pisces. This is Cancer. This is Cancer, Pisces. This is Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, there could be two situations you're going through right now. This could be a two-faced friend at work, one that's loyal, one that's disloyal. But I feel like... I feel like you just need to slow down. Whatever is going on, especially in finances and career, because these two cards are only supposed to be for finances and career. I think if you've been moving too quickly on a project or if you're impatient, because the chariot can, can denote impatience, um, I think that Spirit's saying to slow down, take your time, do the best work you can, and that will allow things to move more smoothly. You could have a slow week and then next week could pick up significantly financially. If you're moving house or changing jobs, it's going to take you a little time to learn the ropes. And Spirit's saying, you know, take time to do that. 
we have rest and rejuvenate. There could be a bit of a lull this week for you. And then things will pick up later. All right. In love and romance, we have different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. We have flirt. Mm, so for some of you, it could be out with the old, in with the new. I've kind of been getting that uh, last month in the monthly zodiacs. I was getting, <clears throat> if you've been stuck in a confusing relationship where you've been super loyal, expecting change and shifts, um, perhaps somebody new could be coming towards you and you will have an opportunity for a new beginning by flirting. We have romance, celebration, party. Um, this could be somebody new. So I'm also picking up off of this king card. I don't know why. Well, yeah, I do because of justice and judgment. You could also possibly be dealing with Libra energy. Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, any earth sign and any air sign. No fire yet. Uh, but you could meet somebody new who is more loyal than some, the person that you were waiting for. Somebody who moved too slow. Somebody who just is, was not, is not capable of being in alignment vibrationally with where you are currently, which complicates things. You could meet somebody new and have to make a decision on whether you want to wait for this person to, to find alignment with you who could possibly be going through a healing period. And that's why they're not in alignment with where you are. But I do believe you could have options with this complicated. It, it could be complicated. You could meet somebody new Possibly a Pisces or a Cancer. Or somebody, you know, because I don't know, sometimes you're a geek like me and do people's charts when you meet them, and I do. And they could have placements, heavy placements, like the sun, the moon, the rising. In <clears throat> Cancer, Libra. Pisces. And Virgo. Take what resonates, chuck what doesn't. Uh, but I'm kind of getting this feeling, this dualistic feeling here. You know, one is loyal and one's two-faced. One, You know, take what resonates, guys, because this could be in any area. But I do feel romantically that if you were in a situation with somebody that, that didn't work, somebody new could be coming on the scene here with the chariot, romance, celebration, party. You could meet somebody new and, and flirt. And it could go somewhere. But it's going to complicate your life because there's going to need to be a decision made. And you're going to have to take action toward that decision, too, because these are two action-oriented cards. So isn't this king. So isn't judgment. So it's really weird. I, maybe I'm reading for two different groups. <clears throat> but it feels to me like one, you know, like somebody is in non-action. Somebody is resting, taking a mental break, not on the same page. And then you meet somebody new, and all of a sudden now you're confused. You're like... Well, I thought this was my person, but they're not really in alignment with with that. This doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. But this one feels like it's moving rather quickly. <clears throat> and now I'm confused. And it's complicated. And so this week you might need to just kind of get in the boat and, and go with the flow and just kind of see what happens here before you make a choice. I don't think this in the next seven days you should make a solid choice. I think you should have fun, go to parties, date, see what happens. 
but take a break from this decision because this week doesn't feel like a decision needs to be rendered immediately. It's not urgent. You're saying, they're saying, take a break, take a break, have fun, but take a break. We have healing. See, yes, with the four of wands, somebody's healing here. You could be healing, or maybe you were dealing with somebody who's going through a healing. And they can't show up for you. They just can't right now because they're not in, in a good place. They need to take a break. They need to do some healing. Or you could be healing from a situation that didn't work out for you. And somebody new comes in to help with that healing. Somebody to help you move forward with the chariot beyond the stagnation. There is definitely somebody in your energy who is not telling the truth. Or there's somebody who's envious or jealous because it does look like you have options. Seven of Cups. You might have more than one person. You could have a couple of people who really admire you, are a big fan of yours, um, loyal, you know. <clears throat> and there could be a friend in your friend group that's kind of jealous of the fact that, you know, maybe they don't even have an option and you've got several. Take what resonates, guys. Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. <clears throat> I don't feel that for everybody. Maybe a couple of you. Maybe you need to get out there and date and let this situation just kind of, you know, give it a break. Maybe it'll come back around in the future. But you're not being told to wait. You're being told to have fun and to flirt and to go to parties and celebrations and entertain romantic interests. Because maybe, just maybe, this is going to be a while. I don't know. Let's get you advice. Dearest you, miracles never run out. Look back over your life and you will see so many moments of synchronicity when all the right people, the right place, the right opportunities, and the right time just showed up without any of your help. Think back to how you felt just before a miracle happened. You felt you were giving up, but it was more like a gentle surrender to whatever was about to happen. We want you to know that miracles are being concocted for you and you will never ever run out of them. You just don't get to choose how they come. Yeah, who will deliver them? When they will show up or what they will do for you. All of that is our department. Spirit knows what is best for you and what wants to be expressed through you. You are incredible and amazing and a magnet for miracles. That would be a good mantra for you today. We're on it. Relax. Again, I'm getting this message. You don't need to do anything but be your true authentic self. Get out of your head. Stop overthinking. Stop trying to make this decision. Just kind of allow spirit to bring to you the people that are meant to be on your path in your life currently and let the future kind of just figure itself out intuitively i think <clears throat> you will always know the right thing to do and maybe this high priestess isn't you maybe this is your guides this is your spirit team saying we've got you we've got you just surrender and allow us to move you forward without overthinking, over-processing. And you don't, it's kind of like, they're, I feel like they're saying, this really isn't a decision that you need to work or chomp at or work hard at. What feels right will show up. And you'll know it feels right and you'll just go with that. Because right now, things are complicated. This complicated card tells me that especially with taking a vacation physically and mentally spirit saying, you know, whatever you've been doing, whatever you've been going through, you deserve a break and you deserve some fun and you deserve alignment 
with people and places and situations that are really truly meant for you currently. Because it feels to me like you've got one foot in one timeline, one foot in another timeline, and Spirit saying, if you just trust us, we will gently move you fully into the timeline you're supposed to be in without you having to cut any cords or make any final decisions. Things right now need to kind of play out naturally and your intuition and your team is going to gently guide you, right? Without any of your help. Miracles never run out. Look back over your life and you will see so many moments of synchronicity when all the right people in the right places, at the right opportunities, the right time just showed up. Somebody showing up. Somebody who's loyal and a fan, possibly at a party. Somebody who's going to help you heal. Think back to how you felt just before that miracle happened. You felt you were giving up, but it was more like a gentle surrender to whatever was about to happen. We want you to know that miracles are being concocted for you and you will never, ever, ever run out of them. You just don't get to choose how they come or who will deliver them or when they will show up and what they will do for you. All of that's our department. I think you're going into a healing phase and I think you're going to have a companion or a friend or a romantic interest that's going to, to take that trip with you. And I think that the timeline you were on I feel like you're shifting out of it. I'm not sure it's I don't know if it's permanent. There's no way to know. That's spirits department. I wouldn't make any decisions this week except for to go with what feels right. If it feels good, it's good. Trust your intuition. And know Spirit's got your back, big time. You're going into a healing timeline, or you're coming out of one. You could be coming out of one, and it's time to move forward. Maybe you've been in all this stuck energy, and you did a lot of healing, and Spirit's going to gently push you into the next phase. Either way, I would totally surrender to this week and just see what happens before making, I wouldn't make any decisions except for the only decision I would make is to do what makes you feel happy. And it seems like there is some real flirtatious, fun, adventurous stuff coming your way. And it could show up synchronistically and I would just say, trust it. All right, trust yourself, trust your team, trust the feelings, not the thoughts. All right, pile number one, that is your reading. I hope there were some seeds in there somewhere. Financially, <clears throat> it feels like things will be slow this week and they'll pick up in the near future. All right, let's move on now to pile number two, where are we at? 33, 34 minutes. All right, pile number two. If you picked this beautiful honey calcite heart with wings, you know, that's the only way to ascend, guys. You've got to clear your heart of all your trauma bonds. Anything holding you back needs to be resolved and released. So you become untethered and you can have a heart with wings. Heart, a heart that has wings ascends. I don't know who needed to hear that, but I'm seeing the lotus here. I'm seeing somebody going, moving out, healing, moving out and into better times. So your general message is King of Swords. I don't know where to put that. Let's put that up there. King of Swords. 
Knight of Wands. Six of Wands. Look at you. All right. So somebody here is taking authority, making a decision, a powerful, conscious, creative decision. Creative. It's fire. So whatever this choice, this decision, this ruling, because he looks like he's passing judgment or ruling of some sort, there's clarity here. There's truth and honesty. There's a judgment that moves you forward into victory. And the Six of Wands also is, is well, it's the winner, winner, chicken dinner. It's success. It's being seen. It's being recognized as a leader. This is leader energy. Knight of Wands is, is, you know, he gets a bad rap in love and romance. We'll have to see how that plays out with the other cards. But when it comes with the Knight of Swords, the Six of Wands, this is making a choice to, to create something new that's going to be very successful. This is taking that first step. This is picking up that idea, that inspiration, that creative um, idea and decision to move forward. And it's going to be successful. So this week, if you get a creative hit, It's it's going to it's going to be profitable. Now, it doesn't mean money, but I mean it's going to be the right decision, the right thing at the right moment, which is funny. But I'm just not going to even connect these dots for you guys. You can connect them yourself. But <clears throat> let me just get your other cards out. Conflict and Defeat, mm. Five of Swords, Building Blocks. Yeah, I think something new is create, being created. Oh, hold on. The dog. You know, it's so funny because I was seeing this dog right here, right before this came out. And I was thinking there's a message in that, but I didn't know what it was. And I said, let me get your cards out. Now we have the dog. Loyalty, sincerity, unconditional love. Building blocks. Stop it, Tracy. Those don't come out yet. We have lions. So there's definite decision. It says a time to act. Yes, this is all about action. See, fives are about change, creating change. There was some kind of, of a situation in your life where it made you feel defeated. It made you feel like a loser. It made you feel like tired. It depleted you. It was pulling all of your energy from you. I'm noticing in this card that this person is coming down these stairs to this candle. And there's hieroglyphs on the wall that are going up the stairs. It's like this is a healing chamber of some sort. You go down here to heal and then people, this is like a place where people go to get clarity. And then they come out rejuvenated and ready to receive. See these people's hands are up. Receiving. I'm trying to get it in the camera here. Hands are up. Up, up. Hands are up. Hand is up. I keep missing the camera. Hand is up. Sword is up. Pile number two, I think you've been in a situation of stagnancy. I think you needed to go into the cave and do some healing and to regenerate your light. You needed to find the light. Clarity. I think you find that clarity this week. I wasn't going to draw any 
conclusions or dots. But I swear this feels like a continuation of pile number one. So if you feel drawn or felt drawn to two piles, then that would make sense. But <clears throat> again, this week, change is happening. Something is ending. This is a number 28, which is adds up to a 10. A 10 is an ending and a new beginning. But whatever, wherever you were, this is a 10 also. It's a number 19. I don't know if the camera is going to clear, which is also a 10. Whatever cycle you've been in where you felt like a loser, you felt depleted, you felt defeated, you felt like you couldn't win, that's about to end. It's about to end and it's time to act, time to make a decision, time to move forward and you will succeed. And you could possibly have somebody coming into your life that is truly loyal to you and loves you unconditionally. Dogs love unconditionally. Building blocks. Whatever you went through was necessary for you to move forward toward this success. It was a necessary part of the foundation that you are building for whatever the success is. And it does look like you will have companionship, friendship, loyalty, security, wherever you're moving. But there's an ending. Something needs to end and change. Fives are about change. The only thing that's ever constant is change. I feel like you needed time to heal, to get clarity. And now you're getting ideas to build something better. And you're going to take those ideas, those thoughts, that clarity... You're going to cut out whatever was draining your energy. You're going to take a decisive action and you're going to move forward and succeed. Look at my God, you got another fucking dog. Get the hell out of here. How does that happen? I literally used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine to, I can't even t count how many decks I used. You got another dog. Pleasure with a close friend. Somebody's going to help you. You're going to have companionship. Something's going on here. You've got help. This could be a, a guide, you know, could be spiritual. Could be a deceased loved one. It could even literally be the soul of a dog that was very close to you. But whatever this is, you have support, big time, loyalty, happiness, unconditional love, the staying kind, not the leaving kind. Somebody who wants to be there, somebody who wants to love and support you, somebody that wants to build a foundation with you or help you build a foundation. door. Opportunities are waiting for you. Absolutely. Things are shifting for you. You need to end something here. <clears throat> so with the door, hold on, I've got to clear my throat. <clears throat> so a very dear friend of mine, who's very, very intuitive, kind of channeled a message for me in my life around a door. And she said, when you stand in front of a door and you knock and it doesn't open and you convince yourself that's the right door for you, so you go back and you knock again and it doesn't open. And so you wait a little while feeling this conflict and defeat and then you go back and you beat on that door and you beat on it and you beat on it and you beat on it. It doesn't open. The message for you is that's not your door. The doors that are meant for you will just automatically open like Walmart. 
you stand in front of that son of a gun and it just opens and you move forward easily with ease. Opportunities are waiting for you. Stop knocking on doors that don't open and start looking for the ones that do. And then just take that step to get on that horse Make that decision. Take that step through that door. Look at it. It's like she's walking through a portal that is supporting her, guiding her, like down a runway. The raven, magic, coincidence, synchronistic events. Yes, something is opening for you. A door is opening. If it opens, don't overthink it. Just walk through it. Just take that walk. Especially if you feel extremely supported and loved on that pathway. It's time to make a decision to, to walk through that door. Build a foundation and trust the signs and synchronicities. You know, sometimes rejection is God's greatest protection. And an open door isn't always an invitation to failure. Sometimes that open door is placed on your path synchronistically, maybe even feels coincidental. But it's actually magic being created just for you. Take that doorway. If it swings wide, and it feels supported. Take that chance. You know, the Knight of Wands has that wand of passion. And, and it's lit up. And it's showing, you know, it's like a match. Sometimes Knight of Wands energy is you got to seize the moment. Because if you don't seize it in that moment, it that door could close. A match only lights long enough to get a job done. It's meant to be a catalyst for a bigger fire. You're about to get your match. Maybe even physically. But definitely, you're about to get a spark. And spirit doesn't want you to miss the opportunity. They want you to take action. Get on that horse. Go through that door. And I don't think you'll be going alone. Three dogs right here. We have meditation. Yeah. Take time. Well, no. Not a lot of time. It's a seven. Sevens are just a brief pause. To get clear with something. Sevens are always a pause before the next action. So if you need clarity, meditate. Ask for clarity. You'll get it. You're so divinely supported. This could be all spiritual support. This may not be a physical person, but... It's definitely spiritually aligned with where you're supposed to go. Surrender, get in the damn boat. Boy, that's been a message that just keeps coming and coming and coming. Surrender, you know, not surrender without decisions, because obviously there's a choice to make and, and a decision to take action. But Spirit's saying when that magic door of opportunity opens, when that match lights and you get that clarity, I think what happens is right before the moment before, because you've got a seven, that's a pause before an action. A moment, I think the moment you surrender to what you couldn't change and integrate it as part of your lesson, I think the moment you surrender, Spirit's going to bring you magic, coincidence, and synchronistic events that will open these doors to you. Because I think you were trying to, too hard 
to micromanage the universe. And the universe is saying, you know, we know what you want, but we also know what's right for you. And we're not going to open any doors for you that aren't right for you because it feels like life purpose. Surrender to your soul's contract and allow the universe to, to guide you. Because the moment you stop trying to force something to happen that's not meant for you, the th very thing that is meant for you will just show up. You know, I often think of that Confucius or whatever um, saying that when the student is ready, the teacher will show. Well, it's not just student and teacher. It's also life path, destiny, love, friendships. I mean, everything that's meant for you will always show up for you. The problem is there will be things that aren't meant for you that show up too. And sometimes we get sidetracked chasing our tail. And so you need to surrender to spirit in meditation and ask for a door. And I think the moment you release whatever this conflict is and say, well, okay, a, a locked door is a locked door. So if this isn't where I'm supposed to be, Spirit, show me the truth no matter what the cost. That should be your meditation. Show me the truth no matter what the cost. Place the right people, the right situation, the right time in front of me synchronistically and I will take action and trust your guidance. Wow. Wow. Let's take a look at your finances and career. So we have the four of pentacles. Again, you're clinging to something that you should let go of. I feel it very clearly. There's something here that you've been clinging to. Now, if you're looking at finances, because this is about victory, this is about success, this is about building a foundation for the future, doors of opportunity. This could be in any situation in your life. This does not yet have to be romance. This is a general part of your reading. But financially, you got to get out of this, this mode of being closed off to your abundance. You know, it doesn't look like you're broke. You've got pentacles. You've got money. You're just not energetically open to receive. This person is open to receive. Hands open and up. These are hands closed and guarded. Knight of Wands in reverse. You've got the Knight of Wands in the upright, Knight of Wands in reverse. So if this is finances for you, you definitely need to open yourself up to new ideas. I think you're in a fixed mindset. I think you had a definite outcome that you were working toward that was the wrong path. And I think that if you open up and meditate and surrender and ask the universe to guide you, magic will happen. Opportunities will open. And that Knight of Wands is you not taking action. This is you not feeling inspired. This is you being closed off in lack mentality. Fives are about challenges and conflict. Fours are stagnancy that happens right before. This is non-action. Spirit saying, time to act. It's time to take that decision. And if you're confused, ask us to guide you and we will. In love and romance, we have fate. This is a destined partnership. And I see a partnership right here. Loyalty, sincerity, unconditional love. Could be with a Leo. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Again, Leo at Sagittarius, Aries. This Five of Swords, that's not who, I don't know. Maybe, King of Swords. But I got... 
air, fire in your reading. So romantically, if this is about romance, you might have thought that somebody was your destined partner. And you clung to that for a very long time. But Spirit's saying, fate flows. Fate flows. What is destined for you will open for you. Separation. Absolutely. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. Whatever this was, you need to move away from that. The moment you move away from that, something shifts. This person could have been somebody that you needed to experience in order to build this foundation, in order to defrag a, a belief system or a part of you or something that needed to be brought back down to zero point energy in order to be rebuilt more sturdy. So if this is a faded partnership and it's just not flowing at the moment, Spirit's saying, allow this, surrender to this separation. And trust it. What is faded for you will never miss you. The moment you get into that surrender mode, something will shift. And it could be with somebody new or it could be with this person because it does say this is a destined partnership. Either or or both. You know, sometimes we have more than one person who walks our path with us. Either way, this week you definitely need to ask for clarity and you need to start paying attention to the doors that open and stop beating on the doors that are closed. This person is closed off. This person's not taking any action. I don't know if that's you or someone you're dealing with, but they are not open to receive. That could shift because I do feel a shift, but that shift can't happen until a step is taken. Somebody needs to take action, make a decision. And the moment they do, a door will open. And there will be success. But stagnation is not what you're meant to do this week. This week, a decision needs to be made and an action needs to be taken. And Spirit's saying, if you ask us, we will show you the way. And I'm hearing sticks. Show me the way, take me tonight to the river and wash my illusion away. Show me the way. There's illusion here. Somebody is not seeing things clearly. If you knock at the door and it doesn't open, leave that fucking door alone alone, separation. If it's faded, it will come back around again because there is unconditional love and loyalty. You could have more than one. Pleasure with the close friend. This one is unconditional love. Could be the same person, could be two different people. I don't know why, but I feel like there's There's more than one way to skin a cat. Why is spirit saying that in my head? We're not talking about cats. We're talking about dogs. But there's more than one way to skin a cat. If that resonates with you for some reason, I heard that in my head. I, I think there's more pathways than one to get you to your fated destination. But the one you've been trying to take is firmly blocked right now. And you're being asked to reroute. And... You'll know what to do because you signs and synchronicities will guide you. You'll see numbers. You'll see, you'll hear songs. God, you've gotten like they're planting words and phrases and songs in my head. 
<clears throat> That's signs and synchronicities. If they're being given to me, they will be given to you as well. But there's more than one route to get to your outcome. And you're being asked to take the one that unfolds naturally in front of you. And to reroute yourself because there seems to be like a freaking storm going on here or a big log in the way or something's going on here that's not it's just stuck energy the only way you're going to get unstuck this week is you're going to have to trust the signs and synchronicities and just take some sort of action toward your outcome even if it's just writing it out with intention and and meditating on it, scripting it, make a phone call, send a text, get up, get out of bed, move, ask for guidance, and I think you're going to get it. All right. So we have freedom. Yes, absolutely. Somebody's stuck. Free, free, free. Let's just get moving, right? What happens when you've been stuck for a long time? You get bored. You get complacent. You get confused. You get angry. You get resentful. It's time to just free yourself. Free your mind and the rest will follow. You color blind. Don't be so shallow. There's more to this situation than you're able to see. Ask your guides, ask your spirit team, ask your friends. Somebody is going to give you advice that's going to end a cycle of separation and possibly bring two people back together or one needs to be sacrificed in order to find the other. And there's a third situation where I'm seeing lots and lots of different pathways but they're all arriving at the same place it's like a maze when you get in a maze and you take a wrong turn you're going to hit a block and there's no place to go but sometimes we get defeated we feel tired we feel depleted we just we're like fuck i've hit so many walls i don't know where to go from here spirit saying get up ask we will guide you. You will find your way. Stop being stagnant. Stop pitying yourself. Stop. Just stop. It's time to dust yourself off. It's time to stand up. It's time to maybe collaborate with somebody that does know where they're going. Maybe somebody will guide you through the maze. But you need to free yourself. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. This path is clear. This one is not. What's your advice? Dearest you, sometimes it's wonderful to give. Yeah, maybe you're the loyal one. But there are times you might find yourself over giving. Now might be a good time to check in and see where you might be cutting off the flow of abundance. Let others give to you even if you're more comfortable being generous and being the giver, the healer and the rescuer. In the art of living, we sometimes overlook an important skill, receiving, hands up and open, guys, I'm telling you, receiving gracefully and with gratitude, without diminishing yourself or trying to deny vulnerability or bringing an agenda of equality to it. Yeah, it doesn't have to be equal. And I get a feeling it never could because you're such a, a generous person. Nobody's ever going to be able to give as much as you do. But where have you allowed yourself to just receive? Somebody wants to give to you. Hands up.
this woman has her hand up and this man is apologizing and telling her he's leaving. Know where your energy lies and with whom. Because if your hand's up and out begging for something from somebody who never gives, ever, And you're stuck in this thought of, I give and 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 I give. Why does this door never open? It's the wrong fucking door. Or it's the wrong time for that door. And it's time for you to take a different approach. A different path. One that is clear. One that it is free to move on. In the art of living, we sometimes overlook an important skill, receiving gracefully and with gratitude, without diminishing yourself, feeling needy, feeling, I have a hard time receiving. Do you guys have a hard time receiving? I have a, yeah, people give me gifts and I feel like I need to immediately go out and reciprocate. That's what you're being told you don't need to do. Just receive gracefully with gratitude without diminishing yourself or trying to deny vulnerability. Maybe you need help. Maybe financially you need help. Maybe you need to ask a loyal friend to help. I don't know. It's a general reading. Receiving is hard for some people, maybe even you. You do not need a this for that in your exchange with others. You're doing good in the world. Let the world give back and support you. Then you can give up the old stories that have you convinced you have to do everything alone and with no help. Let your well be filled. Somebody new is coming in to help you because whatever this is over here, this separation, this anxiety, this depletion, that is not, that is not filling your well. It's just not. And it's time for you to allow those who do love and support you and are loyal to you to help you move forward. And don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it. I don't see asking here. I see an offer being made to you. And Spirit saying, take it. You are very divinely loved and supported. I think you're an overgiver. I think that Spirit's trying to give back. And if you just quiet your mind and ask for signs and synchronicities, spirit will bring them to you and that door will open. That's your reading, guys. Wow. This is a week, man, isn't it? And, you know, everything's retrograde. So a lot of people are stuck in old timelines. And, you know, when Mercury goes retrograde, the past comes knocking and then you have to make a very clear choice and decision about where you're headed and with whom you're going to take that journey. Where are we at? We are at 108. We'll just say 109. All right. Pile number three. No, not 109, Tracy. 108.40. Sorry, guys. I read it wrong. If you picked the Cupcake Quartz, which really isn't what it's called. I don't know what it's called, but I love it. It's fabulous. I bought it for my birthday last year because it looked like a cupcake. Pile number three, we're going to do a general reading. We're going to do a love reading. We're going to do a finances and career for advice for the next seven days. Setting our intentions for the next seven days. Your general reading, seven of coins. Justice. Ooh, and the Emperor. Wow. Hello, Daddy. All right, so there's way too much coming in with this general message. I need the other cards. But what I see here is somebody who invested time, energy, money, energy into something. And because of that, it was a good choice. It was a good decision. It, it was an authoritative decision. And it's about to pay off in some way. What's right? What's just? 
And again, you know, because there seems to be a theme. If you are stuck or stagnant, seven of pentacles, waiting on some kind of a return. Sometimes this emperor has to take authoritative action and make a decision on whether to cut their loss or to continue investing. Ooh, passion ignited. Bum, 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 bum. I see that the emperor is holding that wand right in his hand and look, it's lit up. <clears throat> so, you know, ace of wands could be anything, but it's going to be something that lights you up, that really fulfills you, that makes you feel passionate again. What is it? Between worlds. Yeah. You know, when everything, we've got like six planets going to be in retrograde starting the ninth. This is a timeline shift. This is a shift from one timeline to another. And any place that you've been stuck or stagnant, that's why they go retrograde. It's a redo. It's like a life review. Let's take a look at where you've been, what you've done. What did you learn? What goes with you into the next cycle? It's time to choose which timeline you want to be on. A decision, a rendering will be made. But I think there's something here from the past that will need to be either reignited or left behind. And that's what retrogrades are all about. Clearing that timeline, completely clearing it. You know, where have I been? What have I done? Who took that journey with me? Who stays? Who goes? Decision time. Where are, am I and where do I want to be? Time to make a choice. Oh, not yet, Tracy. We have Axe. Absolutely. I was feeling that. This emperor is about to chop somebody. Maybe many things. Out. It's time to give the Axe to things that work against you. This timeline looks dismal. This one looks bright and lit up. All these retrogrades are showing up in these readings. We have crib, birth or conception of a child or an enterprise. Something new is, is this is the end of a cycle, beginning of a new one. Something is wanting to be birthed into your reality, but it's going to take an action. All three piles have it. You're going to have to make a decision. That's why the planets go retrograde. Because it's your path, it's your life, it's your investment, it's your garden. What stays, what goes. Time to spring house clean. Because right before a birth, there has to be nesting. You know, a mother who is expecting will nest. She will clean her environment up. She will prepare For the, for, the cons for the birth of whatever it is, whether it's finances, it could be a literal birth, but I don't feel that. Or I'd have the empress instead of the emperor. This is a decision about what do, it's a clearing. You need to do a clearing. Look at your life. Look at your friend list. You know, clear out your Facebook friend list. Clear out your closets. Take a look at the people that have been on your journey. Who show up for you? Who don't? Where are you investing your time and energy? It's time to do a culling. And to cut away anything that is not bringing life. You know, if you're a gardener, you know that, you know, a plant that has a couple of dead branches on it doesn't thrive. It needs to be pruned. And once the pruning, the culling happens... The, the abundance, the, the thriving, the, the, the plant will thrive. 
Your life will thrive. It's time for a culling. You need to go through and decide what stays and what does not. Didn't you have a third? Yeah, there it is. We have Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. Look at that. Aries energy. You definitely could be an Aries or you could be dealing with an Aries or a Leo. Or I mean Libra. Any air sign, but definitely Libra and Aries. Again, this is a decision you need to be stubborn about. You need to just take action. Acts. You know, sometimes you can't be diplomatic in everything. You just got to say, you know what? I gave you a chance. I invested in this. I did this and I did this and I did this and I put a lot of energy and time into it. And now it's not working for me anymore. You need to get solid. Be stubborn. Be aggressive. Take authority in your own life. Render that decision. And really, really just follow what lights you up without feeling guilty too because sometimes people will take and take and take and and if you're a very giving person it's time sometimes it's time now if you're dealing with someone else and i don't know why i'm seeing this woman here woman here woman here and then here's this man and here's this woman you know if you're dealing with somebody who's stubborn who's set in their ways Maybe this week they'll make a decision on where they want to invest. I don't know. What else do we have here? The cow. Abundance. I'm telling you, if you want your abundance, it's here. But you're going to have to weed your garden. You're going to have to get rid of anything that's stagnant, anything that's not prosperous, anything that's not working with you. Anyone who is against you needs to go. You need to make a very firm, firm choice. Nourishment, abundance, asking and receiving. This week is all about all three piles need to be open to receive, need to get down and dirty about deciding what do I want? What do I deserve? Where do I want to take my life? And then you just need to do it. Grove. It's a number 21, which is a three. You have a three here. And a one and a two. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's time to move. It's time to get out of your comfort zone. Time to get up off this couch. Time to move. Worry. Worry. Why? Because you feel like somebody's against you. Something's against you. Maybe this is all about, because we're going to do finances next. This could be about your bun abundance, about your finances. Maybe you've been trying to create something and, and there's been a decision that needed to be made that you've been stressed and worried about doing it. Maybe you got to fire somebody. Maybe you got to fire more than one person. Maybe you need to downsize, you know. Maybe it's time to take a look at your budget. Where is money seeping out of your pocket? But worry is counterproductive to a decision. Worry is like false evidence appearing real. It's robbing you. It's taking too much of your time and energy. Don't worry. Make a decision. So in finances and career, we have receiving and giving. Again, the message is that you need to be open to receive nourishment, abundance, asking and receiving. There's somebody here. If it's not you, it's somebody else who's willing to help you financially. What's the other card? Page of Wands in Reverse. It, I just really feel like all three mess, all three piles today. It's, it's so it's going to be the retrograde season. This is all about you know, 
where where have you been placing your time, energy, money, and focus that just took and took and took and took and took and didn't pay you back in, in any dividends? This page of wands is holding this ace of wands. But he ain't doing anything with it. It's time to get out of your comfort zone and make a decision. Choose your timeline. You can stay in stagn stagnation or you can cut away your bond, your tethers. You're tethered in a timeline of lack. You need to cut those tethers, what, no matter what they are, friendships, ideas, thoughts, beliefs, romance, whatever. Uh, you need to clearly cut away anything that no longer is paying you in in reciprocity you need to be open to receive one two three it's time to get moving if this is love and romance we have addiction and addiction is affecting this relationship i'll tell you what the addiction is the addiction is over giving and complacency time to act if you've been if you have an addiction that's taking your life force, your energy, you know, maybe you smoke too much or maybe you over worry too much or maybe you just do something too much. It's time to cut it out of your life. It's time to start taking the actions necessary and the authority to render that judgment and to do what's right, especially in relationships. Finances and career, this is about, yeah, I didn't feel romance in this. Now, you can you can apply it romantically if you want to. This feels more to me about business, about finances and career. But it says that financial issues are also a factor in your love life. So if, if it's that way, then, you know, if you're with the wrong person, you're never going to be abundant. The spirit, spirit world will never support a wrong coupling, a wrong connection. It just won't. And if you're in, if you're codependent in a relationship where there's no abundance financially or otherwise, you're staying because you're complacent. It's, it's a comfort zone. Spirit's saying, break that addiction, move out of it. Not only will your finances pick up, but so will your love life. New passion. Maybe you're with somebody because that that judge justice card could be divorced too there could be a need to ax an x or make an make a current an x in order to free yourself to receive oh we have weight don't rush into it allow nature to take its course that's also in all three piles which is weird spirit make up your mind No, no, somebody is complacent. Somebody is not taking a decision. Somebody's not making a decision. Whether it's you or somebody else, somebody is complacent. Somebody's stuck in codependency. And they're just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting because they think that's the right thing to do. And Spirit's saying, absolutely not. This is not a time to wait. It's a time for action and decision making. Passion ignited. If, if you're in cahoots or dating or even in business relations or friendships, whatever, any place there's a comfort zone where you've been stuck for way too long, maybe in a relationship or a marriage or a job, any place you just stayed for the wrong reasons and, and you're in lack mentality and you just can't seem to get your bills covered or your, your emotions matched or whatever, um, you need to get up and you need to get out of the grove, man. You need to get into the groove and out of the grove. 
We have, dear you, you are in such good shape right now that we're all doing the happy dance in this moment. You have the power. You, right there. Emperor Justice. Abundance. Ram. You need to be aggressive and stubborn. You are in the perfect energy. In this moment, you have the power to make a choice. To get with spirit and co-create a miracle. You may wonder where this is all going. Ah, it's going someplace beautiful. Nourishment, abundance, asking and receiving the lucky cow. <clears throat> you have the power to make a choice to get with spirit and co-create a miracle. You may wonder where this is all going, but if you want to manifest your desires for the highest good, you need to stay focused, not worrying. Focused on the now. Not what could be in the future, not what was in the past, but the now. All the power is in the present moment. Ask yourself, what are, you what are your dominant thoughts right now? What beliefs are, you, beliefs are you motivated by? Do you have clarity right now? How is your conscious contact with the divine? Are you plugged in or are you trying to do life all by your small self? Get rid of negative energy now. Ax it. Gone. Be gone. Resentments, be gone. Forgiveness, love, enter, please. You can do your life beautifully and create your most powerful future. Right here. Right now. In this moment, aren't you thrilled to know you have a huge cheering section over here? I'm telling you, this week for everybody, all three piles, get up, get moving, trust in the divine, pray, meditate, ask for guidance. Every single door that is meant for you will open magically. If you stand there knocking and knocking and knocking and nothing changes. If you're stagnant, if, if you're in a nowhere relationship, a nowhere job, a nowhere belief system. If you tell yourself over and over and over again, I can't, I can't. Or that I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy. Or if you tell yourself, this is all I deserve. Everybody else gets abundance. I don't. Whatever your thoughts or beliefs or worry is, whatever is in your life that no longer serves you, fucking kick it out. Just ax it out. Just empower yourself. I am a powerful conscious creator, co-creating with the divine my highest and best timeline. And I choose it and I take action toward it. And I know my worth. I know my value. And I intend to succeed. All right, guys, that's your message. I love you. Namaste.